What's up, mini truckers around the world? Intergalactic, interplanetary, welcome. Ben here with the US Mini Trucks, the worldwide leader in mini truck mayhem. We goof off, we talk about mini trucks, we fix mini trucks, we drive mini trucks. Everything mini trucks! So, today we've got Honda Acti four wheel drive, gold plated. Check this out, gold plated center caps. Hit that like button if this is the first time you've ever seen that. You always gotta represent 24 karat gold plate. You can find this nowhere else. Okay, this is a real clean one. I was just gonna give you a walk around and you know, hopefully you can get some guidance. One of our customers was interested in this, so he's looking to use it for a golf course and fill it up with like beer, you know, put a front hitch and a rear hitch and coolers. So I thought these tires would be real good. These are the turf tires. So not too aggressive, you know, and then nice and wide. So you get a, a you know, big contact patch. In the back, these are a little bit different. So these are a little more, more aggressive than the turf tires, but I've got another set of turf tires here that we're gonna throw on the back of this. Okay, fuel tank. About eight and a half gallons fold down bed sides we can show you those real quick I know some of you long-term you know watchers have seen this it seems like a lot of the trucks are the same because they're all white but some of these new guys haven't seen them before this has got a rear bed work light so there's a push button on the inside on the dash and we would just push that so we're loading the bed at night or you know early morning you could use that okay one of the things I like about this one a lot of the intangibles we've got a timing belt record here it's gonna be hard to see but it's got a date in a kilometers looks like maybe it's 53,000 52 right down in the comments what you think you may have to hit pause and then I've got manual transmission fluid it's gonna be due 80,000 kilometers and I've got the oil change uh, Here with some other stuff due at 96 Looks like 70 we do all the oil change here uh, So, you know not too much to worry about but I like to see those intangibles Okay original seat And let's see if the dome light works a lot of these dome lights are super finicky and sometimes make sure your switch is working so let's see the dome light gonna be a no-go hopefully our battery is not dead that would suck I keep these little clubs on them okay. we'll set that there I haven't ran this one in we got it but looks like the battery's not dead those are what your battery you know your indication should be this one is for there's a little sensor in the exhaust and they call it an overheat exhaust light but most of the time the sensors just failed they're discontinued so you if you have that problem just cut the wire and uh, ground it to chassis it's just a single wire this one is your alternator not charging so if your engine if this comes on when the engines on you're not getting voltage uh, to the battery. This is your low oil pressure. That's pretty self-explanatory. And this one is your parking brake. So notice if I take the parking brake off. Okay, you got, it. here's that rear bed work light I was saying. So you push that and then this light comes on. It's got a little backlit. They start up high like this. And then once it warms up, it'll, it'll uh, come back down on the idle. Yeah, revving it up it's not gonna really make it come down and idle uh, it has to get warmed up with the water temperature I'm just driving that Subaru every clutch is different this one is a lot more sensitive all right so we've got another bike trail same bike trail we're just 
just gonna honk so we don't run into anybody. By the end of the test drive, the engine will be fully warmed up and nice and quiet. And the idle will be much lower. Back into first, I'm in second here. Going into first. And into second. And then into third. This one seems like it definitely pulls way harder than that dump truck, but you know, the dump truck weighs uh, probably 500 pounds heavier, so it's hard to exactly say where, you know, if it's that or if it's just running better, but this is a nice little test drive gonna come out over here. This is second, we're going to third, we're going to fourth here. And then I'm gonna just do a tight turnaround here. Let's see what happens. One of the things with no power steering and you put these big tires on at the slow speed turns are gonna be uh, hurt a little bit in the fact that, you know, you've got that much more contact patch to turn on the concrete or asphalt or gravel or whatever it is. So hopefully this helps. Let's go back into the lot without running anybody over here. No tachometer. Let's see if we can pull it over here. And do a couple more walk around. Put that light on. So full headlights. Some of the things that's good about these. Um, the headlights, look how clear they are. So a lot of times they get yellow, you know, with the sun. You can polish them off, but they'll always come back unless you replace the plastic. There, there's your overflow reservoir. Battery, oil fill. Look how clean this bed is. It doesn't really look touched up at all. You can, you know, see the old I mean, it has to wear, but. There's a little exhaust pumping away. I put the lights on here so you can get a better feel of what the lights are doing. Okay. Maybe some condensation coming out. Oh, there's the rear bed work light. I'm gonna rev up the engine a bit. Not something you'd want to do all the time, but it's not going to hurt anything. Okay, one of the cool things, the other thing about the Honda is you've got a little uh, tow pin here. All right, we're coming back. I'm going to back this one and park it. Check that radio. Yep, we're getting radio. So you want the AM radios because the FM frequency is on a different band. Yeah, these tires can be a little annoying just because they're so wide. 